going on, everybody? Hey, this your boy Willie Mays. Welcome to Navigating a Maze. This is the next episode of Whip It With Willie. He's dipping and flipping while sipping and quipping. Navigating the kitchen now. Watch while he's whipping. It's Willie. Hey. He's <laughs> Willie. Hey. El Padrino. Light taste, no afterbite. To a good show. Zier Deli Triple Fudge. So you're probably wondering why. Why am I showing you brownies and I'm doing keto slash low carb diet? Because I'm. It's to show you that moderation is key. You can eat whatever you want. You just have to put in the work to to compensate for the effects of. What, whatever you put in your body is gonna do to your body. So if you know you're eating a lot of sugar, well, you better drink some water, hit some cardio, you feel me? Moderation doesn't just go with food. Moderation goes with it. They say you can never have too much of a good thing. I know, my body can tell otherwise. You know, live 160 pounds, that you can. In the overall scheme of life, Moderation just keeps things in perspective and it also doesn't oversaturate the good things in your life So that way when you do get the good things you can enjoy them and it doesn't feel mundane If you really want some cheat day brownies get you some triple fudge, right? Go get you two bars of milk chocolate Pour half the batter into the pan place the two chocolate bars down and then pour the rest of it and then boom when you bite in that It's a super chocolatey fudgy mix and it's mmm but I don't recommend you doing that all the time because I'm telling you the amount of calories and sugars you will consume. Put a little bit of white vinegar. Must clean it. We're gonna season it uh, as is. We're gonna cook it and then we're gonna take the skin off at the end. Black pepper. Soul food seasoning. A little bit of parsley. A little bit of slap your mama. We're gonna just mix it around a little bit. Medium heat. Listen. So the salmon, the Brussels sprouts, the onions, everything is keto friendly and it's a light meal, especially if you try to do something romantic for Valentine's Day, right? Shake it and we're gonna put it in for the rest of the time. Look at it. Quite Josie. I mean, what is dating to me? Dating's always been hard because I don't think like the regular person, especially when I was trying to quote unquote find love on Tinder, you know? Like I I thought I believe in Tinder. I believe in auto social dating because it's like boom, you can cut down to the chase, what you see is what you get, cool. But it wasn't it, it didn't work for me. Social dating sites, they just they didn't they weren't my fit. They didn't work for me. So you know, to be honest, I didn't even have to worry about it, especially the last few years, because with the weight gain, I was super insecure. I wasn't dating much anyway, so that was when I started to focus on my career. I was spending all my money, I wasn't eating right, you know, low key, that weight gain was a blessing a blessing in disguise. It helped me get my life together, it helped me get on track, show me what's important. And then, now, here I am. Aside from the weight gain, uh, I think my viewpoints or my mentality are kind of different as well. Cause like I'm kind of semi-traditional, you know what I'm saying? I do believe, you know, man being a provider, you know, woman take care of house and kids. What I'm not, I'm not saying it's exclusive, everybody brings their 50-50. But what I'm saying is, what I'm gonna bring to the table, like if I'm paying the rent and the utilities and I'm making sure, you know, we good and we're secure, like, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I want somebody to help pick up everything else in between. Like I'm not trying to do it all by myself. We all say like, you can do bad all by yourself. You don't want nobody else to help you struggle, right? And that's where it comes from, you know? But here's another thing. Everybody wants different things. Just because you haven't found 
you know, the one or, you know, someone that checks all your boxes, that don't mean it's, it's not there. That's not a cue to give up. That just means you got to search harder or you got to rework something in your own life. You feel me? And now we add the shrimp. Did you see the browning of the, of the onions? Grab my baby tongs. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, nice, 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 nice. Sauteed onions and shrimp. Let's get a little bit more shrimp in there. We have the Brussels sprouts, moist and roasted. One, two, three, let's get it. And here we have the finished product. We have your salmon, sauteed shrimp with onions, and your Brussels sprouts. Got the salmon. Tender. I taste the pepper, the parsley. I already know these onions and salmon by the touch. Onions and shrimp by the hip. Perfect every time. Here go the Brussels sprouts. I'm nervous. This is my first time. They're good, they're soft, we did it. We have a complete meal. Gooey, fudgy, very delectable. Hey yo, and that completes another episode of Whip It With Willie. Hope you can take something away from the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment, let me know what's up. Hey, y'all be good, stay tuned for the next episode. Whether you're single, married, dating, or other. Hey, happy Valentine's Day. Be safe. Hey, and stick to your diet. <laughs> My assistant, please start a timer for five minutes for the brownies. <laughs> Not the talent. The talent doesn't, it does nothing is the talent's fault. Oh, hold on, I know I need to dab. Can my assistant please do one thing that I ask? My fingers are cramping. Being crown prince, you know what I mean? Like nothing's your fault. You just everybody else adjusts, you know what I mean? Oh my fingers are stuck! Makeup! Somebody tell my executive producer to give me the proper tools so I can properly do my job. I can't. I literally can't. Like Yeah, buddy, looking real, real good. Ah, You had me over here sweating. I mean,